All right, so it's that time of year again. It's time for an MLT for this thing. Now, today we're gonna to be prepping it and there's a few things that we do need to do to make sure that it sort of gets through. I'm confident it will pass anyway. If I had to take a punt at any advisors, it might have maybe breaks. I don't know, just because, you know, that's, it's just, they've been, they've been advised before. I've repaired them. Um, that was the rears though, not the fronts. I don't think the fronts have actually ever been changed. So I think it's um, time for the fronts, but we'll see, we'll see anyway. Um, Few things we need to do today is them bonnet raises are coming off because I think they look stupid now and the bonnet wobbles and I don't like it and it makes a rattling sound. Another thing we're doing, taking the film off there because that is completely not MLT worthy and um, just topping the usual fluids up and stuff like that. So we'll get that done today. Here's my mate in his new Swift Sport and that, it looks so sick. Um, yeah, I put the stock wheels back on as well because the EP3 Type R wheels which are actually stacked up here we're causing some horrendous that sounds so good that sounds so good um but anyway yeah these ep3 wheels that they're on here they were causing horrendous wheel wobbles so they had to get ditched unfortunately oh god turn that down before i get a copyright strike okay so it is night once again as it gets dark in about 30 seconds in the uk you can see here i've had to ditch the uh, fog lights for mot and I'm going to be talking about why that is if you're uh, not quite clued up on it yourself or you want to know the rules and regulations in the UK about fog lights. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go through, through that um, in a second. I'm, I've decided I'm not actually going to put them back in either because I was taking this one out and because of the fitment behind there is awkward, there's actually a washer reservoir that sits right here um, and it blocks getting big bulbs in and they were quite big and it actually just broke it in half. So I'm not going to go through the pain of um, putting some new ones in. Um, but yeah, I've also took the bonnet raises off because that old, it's much more water going into the engine bay, which I'm not happy about and it probably does cause some corrosion. Well, I say probably, it will. It definitely will just because it's open air access. Um, I mentioned as well, stock wheels are back on because of the TPMS. Um, still having a bit of an issue with that, but I'm going to um, address that with you in a second and I'm going to talk about what it potentially is and how to find the faults for these things. All right, so you can see that the TPMS light isn't on um, and it actually has two functions, this thing, or so I believe. So it's currently solidly on, which indicates um, that one of the tyre pressures has just dropped a little bit below and that's absolutely fine. If it was flashing, however, I think this is how it is for all cars. Um, some cars will go red, the um, TPMS light will go red and the ones that are orange usually on Toyota, Suzuki's, um, they all just flash whenever there's an issue. Um, and that's that's the sort of things that they do. Um, but this one's solid, which indicates that I think either one of the sensors isn't working or um, it genuinely is just tire pressure. Now, if one of the sensors isn't working and it's just solid like that, or tire pressure of course um it's not an mot fail but i did do some research if that's flashing that indicates there's a fault in the tpms system it is actually an mot fail and personally i'm not obviously i'm not an mot tester but i think that's a bit of a bogus fail you can look and there's, if there's nothing else wrong with the car do you know what i mean i know it's the, just the uk and how things are and the tight rules and regs and stuff but it, come on it's the same with the um engine light as well all old cars have engine lights on for pretty much no reason. Now, there's a reason why there's one on the Arosa, and I've, I've sorted that out now, actually. Um, it took me a while to actually find what I needed to fix it, but I've done it, and you'll see that in the video. But it's like that. There's just um, loads of random reasons why these lights can come on. And sometimes the, you can't, like in this car, for instance, like, correct me if I'm wrong, you cannot reset these lights. I've looked all over the place. Like in, I know in a, in a few Toyotas, it's just under there, but in this, there's nothing. You've just got to live with it. And even a fault code reader won't clear it. So it is genuinely just a replacement of the valves, which I have actually had a replacement valve in this before. So it could be that, that could be a cause of it. But um, I'm just gonna do my tire pressures. There's nothing I can do this time right before the MOT, um, but it's just my luck for that to happen. But yeah, it's it should be all right because it's um, not flashing. And I hope I've cleared up a few sort of maybe frequently asked questions and like things that people might have been in the, in the uh, dark about there because it can be a whole world of confusion these mot rules and oh, what does this do and stuff like that um so yeah hopefully i've cleared stuff up and yeah i think that's it to be honest um with the regards to the fog lights in the uk you can have them solid bright white light like mine are now with no tints on them um 
or you can have them bright yellow like the old like I know like old French cars have them on and a lot of old Porsches have them on as well you can have them like that um, honestly I don't really like the yellow ones on newer cars um, I could have changed them to yellow on the um, RGBs but it had a bit of a tint of a green in so I thought I'm not going to risk it I want the car to fly through um, so yeah that's the rules on the fog lights as well it's quite strict um, in the UK once again like, I know in say the US where you don't have inspections you can just put god knows what on your cars and just have absolutely mad stuff on there um, but that's unfortunately not the case here so yeah that's that's the rules and regs regarding that i'd sort the bonnet raises off again corrosion reasons and i think that's it um in terms of preparation you know do your standards like i'm doing the tpms check your tire pressures make sure they're all even um washer fluid does the wiper clear the screen yes it does um just the basic stuff like that the stupid things that you can make sure it won't fail on beforehand do them all right then so it's a few days later um we've got a car fired up here i'm going to sat in my works car park doing this because i forgot to do it yesterday evening like a dummy but hey we're here now um it's passed its mot um with no advisories as well which is absolutely phenomenal i'm very impressed that it's um not got any advisories i didn't think that it would apart from well i did think a couple um might fog up but they didn't which is happy days but yeah not it doesn't surprise me at all this car's honestly the tightest thing ever like it's you know it's nearly seventy-five thousand miles now and you know it's just been flawless the entire way um and honestly i feel like it's just going to continue like that like i do maintain this car i do keep it nice and clean and tidy and stuff and i love it to bits like i've always said in every single one of my videos i do apologize about this glare that's on the lens i can't do anything about that because i'm a dummy and i did decide to drop my phone and not only does it crack the screen it's also cracked the lens on the back so i really do apologize that there's really not much i can do about that until i can get a new phone at some point whenever or get it repaired but i'm probably not going to do that but anyway, um, these didn't fail. I don't know whether I unplugged them or not, but these definitely didn't fail. Um, I've got some new wiper blades here as well, actually, uh, because the ones there are actually squeaking like hell. So I do need to change those. Um, but yeah, now that that's all over and said and done with, um, I did, by the way, talk in the last clip, obviously, about um, the fog lights and stuff like that. They, you do need just clear or yellow fog lamps if you're in the UK, like I said. Uh, bonnet raises are off, stack wheels back on and just to touch on that, I've got two options in terms of wheels for future mods which is just something I'd like to talk about um, to end the video, in terms of MOT mods, like I'm not going to do anything else that I need to change for an MOT, like I just I, honestly I can't be bothered at all I really can't be bothered, so the fog lights and stuff I'm going to keep them in but you can literally just the MOT man's not going to like feather about with that so we'll leave them on um, <coughs> excuse me, um, and yeah so I'd like to say, uh, I've got two options with the wheels. I've got my Civic Type R wheels still sat in the garage doing nothing. They're heavier than these ones, but they're wider and they handle better. But I need to go to wheelbase to get them all sorted and like dialed in and stuff because they just they make the wheel wobble like hell on the motorway. You sat there and it's doing that, and I don't want that. So I took, well, that's one of the reasons to took them back off. Um, and they've got a puncture as well, which is kind of sad. Uh, but I would like to make them championship white like the Civic ones But I've got all the NK decals to put on them and everything So I think that I'd make them look pretty cool um, And as for the stock wheels, if I do decide to go with those I'm going to get some like Pirelli P0s or Michelin Pilot Sport 4s Get them dialed in in the tyre side, make it handle really well And I'm going to spray them white Which is something I've wanted to do for a while anyway White wheels on this Go with purple as a secondary colour. I think purple's a bit bold for the wheels, to be honest. I don't want to go for that boy racer look. I want to go for the clean, modified look. So that's a bit about it for the wheels. Fog lights are just staying the same. I've got some nice white bulbs in there. Like, I'm keeping the whole white theme. Um, and what else have I got? I've got a nice little wiper delete to come as well. Now, I have did that one I made myself because I, I can do a few things myself, obviously. I just put my head to it and it works. Um, but I've got, a, I've got a proper one that's completely flush with the glass and it's really, really nice. So that's going to be in a future video, just bespoke to that because I wanted to do that. Because I've waited six whole months for a wiper delete kit to come. So, yeah, I do want to make a whole video on that just because of that facts are alone. Um, a couple of things that you can see before the end of the year. Over Christmas, I'm probably going to lower this. Um, I realised that it was a solid axle beam on the back of this, which I had no idea of. I've never really stuck my head under the back of this car before properly. Um, so that's easy enough to do. And the fronts are obviously like, it's literally like I did on the Arosa. So that's going to be easy enough. Spoiler, I've got a rear lip um, CTC kit thing for this. Really, I said that a bit wrong. A CTC lip spoiler for this, um, which I've sprayed up black. And 
it's there actually funnily enough um so that's gonna get slapped on the car i'm halfway through filming that video and i've kind of just spoiled it to be honest but hey um it doesn't matter you're gonna see um, the whole like spraying process and all that and installing it so i'm gonna do that because currently now the erosa is in for mot for the final time and I can park this up for a bit and drive that around um, and that gives me an opp opportunity to do that let the adhesive set etc etc gonna get a new front splitter for it over Christmas as well just like a, a bit of a better one over the um, rubbery foam one because I don't think that's um, I don't think you can cut it when I've got something like that on it you've got to if you're gonna do one you're gonna do the other do you know what I mean it's one of those ones um, so that's to come just to round it off, I've got a sun strip to go over the windscreen as well, which is cool. I've um, I'll just pop that back up. Yeah, I've got a sun strip which is just going to be all white going across there, and again, keeping with the white theme, keeping it nice and clean. Um, and yeah, that's it. If anyone else is watching this and they've got a ZC32S, drop some comments below of some mods that you've done that, um, that are sort of like around like clean but not too expensive because I'll be all ears. I want to know what you guys have done on all ears, and you know. I'm interested, I want to see what other people are doing and I want to see what people are bringing to the Swift community because I do love it, I'd love to see what people are doing um, and yeah, that's about it to be honest um, the next video on this will be either that spoiler or the rear wiper delete kit um, and I'll throw the sun strip in there at some point as well not sure when that'll be but I'll just chuck it in there maybe with the rock wiper delete video just as a little bonus at the end of the video but yeah that's it for the MOT and if you've got any more questions about MOT rules and regs or anything MOT wise for this if you want to know like what wears on them and stuff I can offer some advice as well so again hit me up in the comments I'm absolutely more than happy to help and yeah thanks very much for watching and I will see you all at some point um, in the week sorry this has been a bit of a waffling one but yeah cheers for watching